Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I am your host Lokender Kumar and today we are going to understand the concept of antimicrobial resistance. In this presentation, I am going to show you that how antimicrobial agent target the bacteria and how bacteria develops resistance against the antimicrobial agent. What are the different different mechanisms that bacteria utilizes to develop the resistance against the antimicrobial agent. At the same time, I am going to discuss what is the cost that we are paying and what we can do to reduce the prevalence of antimicrobial resistance. So, please stay tuned till the end of the video so that you can understand the concept of antimicrobial resistance in detail. Before we jump on to the presentation, I have a quick request to make. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and support my work. So without any delay, let's jump on to the presentation part. Before discussing antibiotic resistance, let's briefly understand antibiotics. What is an antibiotic? An antibiotic is a type of antimicrobial substance that kills or inhibits the growth of a certain types of bacteria and is the most important type of antimicrobial agent for fighting bacterial infections. Antibiotic medications are widely used in the treatment and prevention of such infections. These antibiotics are saving our lives from dangerous infections, but they are losing their effects due to the emergence of antimicrobial resistance. Now let's discuss what is antimicrobial resistance. Antimicrobial resistance is the ability of a microbe to resist the effect of antibiotics. Resistant microbes are more difficult to treat, requiring alternative medications or higher doses of antimicrobial agents. These approaches may be more expensive, more toxic or both. Microbes resistant to multiple antimicrobial agents are known as multi-drug resistant MDR. Those considered extensively drug resistant XDR or totally drug resistant TDR are sometimes known as superbugs. Now let's discuss what is the cost that we are paying for the antimicrobial resistance. Estimates are that 700,000 to several million deaths result per year due to antibiotic resistance. Also, the antimicrobial resistance is increasing globally because of greater access to antimicrobial drugs in various countries. Each year, only in the United States, at least 2 million people become infected with bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics and at least 23,000 people die as a result. Recently, a study showed that in 2050, antimicrobial resistant infections would cost more lives than cancer. The drug resistant infections will kill an extra 10 million people a year worldwide, more than currently die from cancer. This slide will tell you how the antimicrobial resistance is tested by the agar plate method. Bacteria are streaked on dishes and small white paper disc is placed on the surface of the media plate. Each white disc is soaked with different antibiotics. After overnight incubation, there is a formation of clear ring around the paper disc. Plate on the left shows that the bacteria forms the clear ring with all the antibiotics, indicating there is no resistance and bacteria are being killed by the antibiotics. On the right side, the bacteria are fully resistant against the antibiotics. After this test, your physician will recommend the best antibiotic based on this activity assay. Mechanism of antibiotic resistance. The first mechanism includes the prevention of the antimicrobial agent from reaching its target by reducing its ability to penetrate inside the cell. Antimicrobial compounds almost always require access into the bacterial cell to reach their target site where they can interfere with the normal function of the organism. Some bacteria protect themselves by inhibiting these antimicrobial compounds from entering inside the cell walls, thereby protecting themselves from killing action of the antibiotics. 
Let's discuss the second mechanism that is the inactivation of antimicrobial agents via modification or degradation. Another means by which bacteria preserves themselves is by destroying the active component of the antimicrobial agent. A classical example is the hydrolytic deactivation of the beta-lactam ring in penicillins and cephalosporins by the bacterial enzyme called beta-lactamase. This enzyme degrades the antibiotics and it is no longer effective against its target. Third mechanism is the expulsion of antimicrobial agents from the cell via general or specific efflux pumps. An efflux pump is the protein complex present on the surface of the bacterial cells. Their main function is to expel compounds that are not required inside the cells. Bacteria cleverly designed a new efflux system through which they can pump out the antimicrobial agents effectively from the cell so that they cannot bind to their target site. To be effective, antimicrobial agents must also be present at a sufficiently high concentration within the bacterial cell. These membrane proteins act as an export or efflux pump for certain antimicrobials, extruding the antibiotic out of the cell as fast as they enter. Now, the fourth interesting mechanism of antimicrobial resistance is the modification of the antimicrobial target within the bacteria. Some bacteria evade antimicrobials by reprogramming of the critical target sites to avoid recognition. Therefore, in spite of the presence of an intact and active antimicrobial compound, no subsequent binding or inhibition will take place. Next point is what we should do to reduce antimicrobial resistance. Everyone can take these simple actions that can help to reduce the emergence of antibiotic resistance. Do not use antibiotics to treat viral infections such as influenza, the common cold, a runny nose or a sore throat. Ask your doctor for other ways to feel better. Use antibiotics only when a doctor prescribes them. When you are using a prescribed antibiotic, take the full prescription even if you are feeling better. Ensure that members of your family do the same. Never share antibiotics with others or use leftover antibiotics. If we all work together and do not abuse these magical drugs, we can surely secure the future generations from superbug infections. Let's join our hands together for this noble cause and stop the spread of antibiotic resistance before it's too late. With this note, I conclude the presentation and I really hope that this presentation was helpful for you to understand the basics of antimicrobial resistance. Please share the presentation with students and young researchers. If you like my work, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for the updates and for new presentations. Thank you and take care.